Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to show you how to upload your game that you've made to itch.io. Maybe you want to get some feedback, maybe you want to share your amazing creation with everybody, or maybe you just want to be left in tears when they rip your game apart. But it doesn't matter about all that. I'll show you exactly what you need to know. So I've got a game here which is called Tanks and is from the Unity Asset Store. And it's just a base game which uses the keyboard to control either side. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to build this out. So if you go to the top and you go to file, build settings, and you need to make sure that you add the appropriate scenes that you want to be built out in your game. So you make sure you add all of the ones in. If you've got a main menu, make sure that's in. But this one just has complete game. You can build to Windows. And you can see you can build over to other applications. To build to itch.io, you most likely want the Windows application. You can use WebGL and you can see that it's greyed out and it'll say that you can install it with Unity Hub. Now you can click this button, it will open Unity Hub and depending on which version of Unity you're using, you can click the little cog, add modules and from there you can scroll down and you can just click to add WebGL support and click install. Then once that's installed, you can click back on WebGL and just say switch platform. But because we're already on Windows, we can set this as a target Windows build, Intel 64, as the standard build. But before you build your game out, if you're on the platform that you're using, you can go to the player settings. You can set your company name at the top, the name of your project and the version number. And you can drop down on the icon if you want to make yourself a new icon. Resolutions and presentation, so if you want it to be full screen by default any splash image that you want to use, if you want to use your own logos, and any other settings which are related to your game management. And then we can just hit build. So I like to create a folder called builds, create a new folder, and I'll name my folder something like 29th of February 24, tanks build one, just so they keep it nice and organized. I'll open up that folder and select that folder, and this is where we're gonna to build to. Unity will run through the compilation process and build out the executable that we need. Once your game has been built, it will pop up in that folder that we created. But before that, we can look on the left hand side and if you do have any red errors, it may not have built the game and you will need to fix it in case you've got any issues. And with this being built out like this folder, you can try it out. You can try out your executable just to make sure that it works. And then what's best to do is you can right click this folder and then choose to compress it to a zipped folder by sending to because that's how we're going to upload. And while you're taking the time to learn about itch.io, if you're also looking for loads of scripts and assets, I've got loads on my Patreon. You can get over 225 scripts, assets and projects, and it really supports the channel too, so thank you so much. And do subscribe to the channel, because it helps me out massively. You can actually navigate to itch.io and make sure you've created yourself an account. And when you go here, you can navigate to your dashboard, or you can go to upload new project. So we'll click that, as if we're going to upload something brand new. You want to start off by creating a product title, call this Tanks Mayhem. You can upload a cover image by clicking the box and uploading a JPEG, and I've just got something which was from the Unity Asset Store. You can change your target URL for your project if you want, but that's good enough for me. You can suggest a short tagline, which is optional. I'll give it a tag. You can set the classification as if you want it to be anything other than games, you can set that. You can set the kind of project, whether it's downloadable HTML, and HTML would be if you uploaded the WebGL version of this client. Downloadable is just that executable that we've created, and you can specify what stage in development, because like I said, you might have just wanted some feedback. So you could say in development, cancelled prototype, or we'll say this one is going to be released. You can say whether you want people to donate, whether you want it to be a paid product, or you just want it to be a completely free product. So you can put zero or donate, which means it will always be free, but people can choose to make a donation. You can set the default amount. And then here we want to add the files that we want to upload. Choose our file, and then it will upload that zipped folder. You can change the display name if you want to, and you can choose to set different prices or hide the file if you've uploaded multiple, and then you can add your own description. So I'll add a really simple description, and then you can set a genre and we'll just call it a little action game and we can set keywords or tags to make it more relevant in the search so just add things that are relevant to yours and you can actually add a store links if you've got this on other stores and you can write instructions on how people should execute your files or work with your game and remember always make this as simple as possible so anybody of any ability could follow it say you wanted your mum to do it so you need to make sure that she will understand how you could possibly do it and you can disable whether you want comments or a discussion board, and you can set this draft public or restricted. 
So it's good to set something as draft before you actually set this live, just because you might not want it to go live before that. So save and view the page. So you can see now here's our basic page. And of course, you can upload other things like a gameplay trailer or screenshots. And I'll just add some basic screenshots to my page, which are relevant to the game too. And then click save again. And then I'm going to view my page. And you can see that I've got some screenshots. I've got installation instructions and I've got the description about it. And of course, in the description, you can put images in there, make it as interesting as you want. And then also some additional settings other than editing your main page. You can set the metadata where you can classify how what, what language it supports. <laughs> Any accessibility options, input methods, like whether you use a keyboard in this case, whether it's got multiplayer support, what engines and tools, any release information that you need to be able to other people to use it, external links if you've got a blog or a website or a Steam page where this image is linked to, or any social media images or any logos related to this product too just to spice up your store page to make it look interesting. You do also have analytics to see how many views your game got, how many downloads it's had. And then you can actually add little widgets and other things that you can customize. So you can put this on your own website to make it so, look, you can download my game on itch.io just to be able to share it with the world. And of course you can set download keys, external keys, notification. You can import kickstart information if you've linked this to a Patreon. And if you do want to set it live, you can just click the public tab and press save and you can choose whether you want it unlisted in the browser search or something like that if you just want to share this with friends and family. I hope you found this useful in terms of building out your game, being able to use it in other places and being able to share it with the world to get all their feedback for everything that you need. So be sure to let me know if you've got any tips down below on the best ways to manage your itch.io page or any way or anything that you've managed in the game. And do be sure to check out all the links down below because of all the Unity savings and all the best sales that I've got which I keep everybody up to date with. Do be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And big thank you to all my patrons, massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.